this is one of my favorite, favorite sessions, simply because cultural capital, I think it's where it's at. Culture, the way you do what you do, capital is the, uh, remember the, 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 uh, the source of money that you can invest into ventures when you're doing finance, yeah? So your culture becomes something that you can apply into any given activity at any time. Did your history classes in school leave you feeling shortchanged and in a kind of historical debt? Is that true? Because maybe some of you, that's why you're looking on this timeline to try play catch up. And this session is designed, designed to provide you with the idea of a historical audit to identify what you missed, both personally and professionally. The timeline is a general time map displaying and comparing the major African and European civilizations and personalities over the last 8,000 years, placing them in chronological order, which is a National Curriculum History Key Skill 1. The timeline is a National Curriculum compliant, so the kind of work being uh, taught in history in schools is compliant to that. And it begins, we begin to build or endorse your self-knowledge and to turn it into cultural capital, which is genuine self-worth, to become fully PC. Yeah, you've got to become fully P. Yes, fully PC. That term, fully PC. A lot of you are being clever now, saying, oh, you mean personal computer or whatever. I say, no, pol you know, political correct. Well, those of you who knew me, you say, am I politically correct? I'd say, hell no. Watch this. I mean, personally confident and professionally competent. Now, nobody should kick small elephants down dead. So what we've got is a mnemonic, but what we're doing is using the first letter. You see that? N S K. S-E-D-D, -D, right? So let's have a look at this. Nobody stands for nature. Should stands for science. Kick stands for knowledge. Nature, the whole world and everything in it that is not made or changed by people. Now watch this. Nature is derived from the old term netta, which means the net or the netaru, the natures of God. Netta used to make, mean God in Kemet, ancient Kemet. So that's why natural accidents are called what? Acts of God. So watch this, nature, the whole world and everything in it that is not made or changed by people. Yes? Science, an ordered or organized study, a body of knowledge. We study nature through a scientific process. That generates a thing called knowledge, which is generated information. Then what happens is that creates different schools of thought, which we then go to or adhere to and learn. Does, that, does this make sense? Those are the same functions in plants and people. Melanin for people, chlorophyll for the plants. Both relate to the sun, react to the sunlight very, very importantly. So we have people and plant life. What happens is we have a thing called photosynthesis that melanin and chlorophyll actually carry out for us. We have a symbiotic relationship. Symbiosis takes place where oxygen is breathed out by the plant life. And we breathe that in and we breathe out carbon dioxide. So let's go here. You'll bring your color. Remember, use two ways, racially and then aspects of you you can't change, like your gender, your sexuality. I'm talking naturally. Then your culture, the way you do what you do. Whatever culture you're from, if you're from the UK, the USA, you've got to remember you're going to be dual, dual heritage. You're going to be bicultural simply because you're going to have your own culture and then the culture that's afforded to, to black culture plus the host nations. So culture, the way you do what you do, pick the best thing that you've got from that. So watch this. Some of the reasons or excuses are given for black people behaving negatively. First of all, the influences of slavery and colonialism. Is that why black people like, act in a negative way? Could well be. Do we need to understand those things? Oh, hell yes. All aspects of it. So we'll be getting to that in this, in this series. Two, institutional and social racism. Is that why black people act negatively and have negative behaviors? Could well be. Do we need to understand those things? Oh, hell yes, we do. Yeah, well, what happened? Many people, however, do not wish to study history, their history, due to their psychology. The Griot strategy, therefore, brings the study of psychology to number one, displacing history to number two. The traditional is a European psychological worldview applied to all peoples. For instance, we've got black psychology, but what do you call white psychology? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guessed it, just psychology. 
when you call when you call it psychology, but it is white psychology, it means that that is the key at the center and all the rest is displaced to the periphery. Then you've got the reformist, which is a re European worldview with an added black component. It's a little bit like civil rights. You get this, that the, the law, the land has a black component to put some form of entitlement in it for black folk. Does that make sense? So we, we want equal rights. We want diversity trade. We want the, that, that's the reformist school. But watch this, the radical is an African psychocultural worldview applied to the African, yeah? Here's the prison system that will swallow the heart if he's found guilty, if he's heavier than the feather. There's the judge, yeah, getting ready to, to judge. He's presiding over the, the whole scene. And up above, look above, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve members of the jury presiding over everything, watching and being directed by the judge.